if you tried to sell this jar of pickles on eBay, it probably wouldn't sell. But if you tried to sell this pickly looking thing on eBay, it would sell for right around a hundred dollars. When I tell you the reason why, it's going to blow your mind. But this item sits around sometimes at garage sales and flea markets, estate sales, and most people have no idea what this thing is. So if you don't already know, take a guess right now in the comments and let me know. So do you think it's a, a troll nose? So maybe it maybe kind of goes like this or maybe like that. What do you think? Or uh, maybe it's actually a sea cucumber and we could listen to it and give us a message. Oh, there's something else associated with this later on that people got to see too. Okay. So, all right. But this is telling me some messages or I don't know, maybe it's, it's a cup. Maybe you, you drink from it. Let's see if it worked that way. Pour a little water in there and, uh, uh, what work is a cup, but I don't think that's what it is. So before I show you what this actually is, let me show you a few other items related to pickles that do sell on eBay. Cue to tape. Always be on the lookout for the 1970s Sweet Pickles children's books. You should be able to sell those for at least $10 with shipping. Who remembers the Vlasic Pickle Stork from those 1980s commercials? Don't pass up on this plush because it's an easy $20. He stands out with his blue hat and his red bow tie. Now, speaking of plush, if you ever come across this guy, don't forget Tommy Pickles from the Rugrats because he could bring in a cool $30. And while we're at it, don't forget Pickleball Paddles because those could bring in about $30 as well. Yes, there's a game called Pickleball. Now, going back to actual pickles, always be on the lookout for pickle jars. Those will routinely sell for right around $40. And for all you Dorito fans, if you could ever find a few bags of the tangy pickle flavor near you, those will also sell for $40 too. Now, I know some of you watching had this as a kid because I did. It's the Sweet Pickles Learning Card Case. If it has the stickers and if it also has the learning cards inside, that's going to be a $50 sale. And if you find about 11 or 12 Sweet Pickles books, lot them up because that's another $50 in your pocket. Now, there's also value in other food items that get pickled, such as these two jars of pickled bologna. Those sell for about $65. And so will pickling spice and everything nice. Speaking of everything nice, how about some pickled pork hocks for about $80 or pickled quail eggs for around $85? Hold the pickles. Hold the pickles. I've got to show you what this item goes to right now. Have you figured it out or are you still in a pickle yourself? This item right here goes to the 1977 Shogun Godzilla. Wait till I show you what this little button does uh, on the arm here. Also, I'll show you that at the end. It's awesome. Well, why would people pay up to $100 for this thing? Because this Godzilla right here, this is worth $700 when it's complete. Now, it has to be complete. And as you can see here, there's something missing. This is what is missing. And toy collectors who played with this as a kid and had this would commonly refer to this as the big pickle. And all you've got to do is you've got to just slide it on right there. You got to exert a little bit of pressure to get it in so it doesn't break. And there we go. We've got it right there. It's nice and firmly connected, but sometimes these would just fall off. Kids would play with them and you know they would go missing and then you've got an incomplete Godzilla and who wants a Godzilla without his big awesome tail that he whips around. Now, a couple other things to tell you about this. He also has wheels on the bottom of his feet and that helps him 
move around and get around and spin around and do the twist, right guys? Look, he's got the moves right there. There's a lever right here on the back. That's what you push down to make the fire come out like that. Oftentimes this is broken. So that $700 requires all these things to work, requires no cracks or chips or anything like that. It also requires there to be uh, some good paint still left on the fingernails. You see we still have a good amount of yellow paint there and on here as well. Now keep in mind, sometimes the arms will pop out of the sockets. If that happens, you could easily just snap them right back in. And once in a while, you might find a loose arm around. If so, keep in mind that if this little button works, which again, I'll show you in a few minutes what it does, it's so awesome. Uh, this one would be the arm that's worth more money. Okay, now sometimes what happens is you'll just find this little hand loose. This little hand itself could go for $90. It's a really cool feature of this. Now before I end off by showing you what this hand does, let me show you a few of those on-screen comps. Well, here he is in all his glory, a $700 1977 Shogun Godzilla. It'll show that, by the way, on the bottom of his feet, but he needs to be complete. And here's an example of some of those tail comps for right around $100. This is a consistent price that you're going to get. And like I said, if you have that hand, you find that loose, that's going to be around a $90 sale. Now, let me show you why that hand is detached. Uh oh, as you can see, Primetime Treasure Headquarters has been invaded by this huge killer red snake. But have no fear, because 1977 Shogun Godzilla is here. He's staring him down right now. He knows what he needs to do. We just got to press this button down right here. And this hand will go flying out across the room. But can he reach the snake that is quite the distance for a 1970s toy, but let's give it a try right now. Go get him, Godzilla. Oh, Godzilla, awesome job. That's like a headshot right there. You took him down. Let's give you some Mountain Dew, man, to celebrate. Good job. Godzilla loves the Dew. Here you go. Take a chug of that. There you go, buddy. Awesome job. Give Godzilla a shout out for sure in the comment section. He did an awesome job today. All right, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Give me the do. All right, geez. All right, good job with the snake though. Fist bump, awesome job. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video and now you know if you ever come across one of these things and maybe you could sell it for up to $100 on eBay. If you like the video, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and comment and check out the join button for membership because I actually have a Godzilla emoji that you could use in the comments section and in the live chats. It's a lot of fun. I'll see you at the next video, everyone. Take care.